here's a theme I remember. <clears throat> so let me fix the sound here and then I can tell you what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here is the Japan-only sequel to the Pokemon trading card game game that was released on the Game Boy Color. The original I played on my channel recently, and it was because I played the game as a kid. And only recently did I discover that this game existed, a sequel that was only released in Japan. So I went and got an English patch for it because I was like, hey, this sounds pretty interesting, let's do it. And so here we are, we have a fully English patched version of a Japan only game. And I'm going to see what it's about. So let me make sure things are going here. a girl in this game. The original only had, uh, the boy, which we see right here. That was like when Crystal did that. Crystal had, uh, added an entire female play playable character in addition to its many other awesome things, which is one of- I love Crystal. Crystal's my favorite Pokemon game ever. Yes, I am. Oh, shit. Good thing I can freaking read- freaking read this. Come on. What should my name even be? <clears throat> can I put in, uh, Kokonatsu here? Let's see, where is Ko? This is Ku. Uh, Ku, okay. Alright, so... Ko, Ko... Where is Na? to freaking docket in this. Oh, 
I remember this theme. Hell yeah. <coughs> Maypuru loves collecting Pokemon cards. Oh, it's just recapping the first game. Look at this. This is cool. Is everything good on chat? I hope so. Let me do a test. Yeah, everything looks good in chat. Okay, good. Yeah, the Elite Four. <laughs> okay, so they're just recapping the first game. Awesome. Oh, that's not how you spell duelist. Holy crap. D-E-U-L-L-I-S. That's not it. Okay. Something terrible had happened. Titan Ness. This is the map from the first game, for those who don't know. What is this? Team Great Rocket. Oh no! I got beamed! Aliens? Hey man, sometimes it's, sometimes XCOM crosses over into Pokemon. You just have to be ready for everything. Also, how are you, Derail? What are you up to? How you been? Okay. Hey, it's Roland. Or, Ronald. A.K.A. Neon, who I beat up in the first game. <laughs> Hi, Neon. Good to see you as well. The one game I can beat your ass in. Ronald Ruck. It's awful! <laughs> A group called Team GR invaded. The island's card clubs were attacked one by one. <laughs> so, Ronald McDonald in Japan is called Donarudo. Or Donald. And that's what he's known by. And then McDonald's, depending on where you in, where you are in Japan, is either Maku if you're in a non-Kansai region, or Makudo if you are in a Kansai-speaking region. Not the legendary cards. Oh my gosh. No, hell no. I'm gonna go play some more anime games. Indeed I will. Hey, let's go. Mini computer. They're just giving computers away for free now. Look, look at this. Minicom. Kanobuze, Maypuru. <laughs> oh boy, Crapple. Oh, I hate Apple. They're so scummy. What's over here? <laughs> One, two, awesome. Ichi. Need. 
Sun. Yun. What's even over here? Training room. Interesting. Sure. I know how to play the game, but hey, I've never played this before, so let's do it. Okay, it's still the same theme that we know. Still the same great music. Pikachu coin to a Chansey coin. Okay. Hitmonchan. <laughs> yeah, you did. And the the main character gets powered up by him knowing that porn mags are around. I see Hitmonchan. All right, yeah, I see Hitmonchan is as strong as ever. Freaking hell! Okay, good, we can do waterfall. Good. Oh, they gave Sparrow different art, look at that. Spiro, Sparrow, I've kind of flipped back and forth. Because saying, saying Pharaoh is kind of weird. So uh, that's why I kind of flipped back and forth. You either get Spiro or Firo. And just... <laughs> Not really a way to say either of those, but you just say spear and then add O to the uh, end of it because you know the weapon and then like you're not gonna say spear ow. That that that'd be even worse. I'm looking forward to you streaming in May derail. I'm gonna show up. <laughs> the the Firo for Spiro, yeah. I'm going to show up to your stream and be there the whole time and fill up your chat, Derail. It's gonna be great. You're playing Sonic 2, right? Got that Emerald Hill Zone going? <laughs> Got that Casino... Uh, casino Night Zone going? Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. See. Does Trails in the Sky have Estelle? She's really cute. Or is that the one that has Altina Orion? 
I, I barely know trail stuff. I only know it because a gotcha game I played once had a collab with a trails game. Okay, yeah. Estelle Bright is really cute. Langrisser Mobile had a collab with uh, the Trails games, and that's really the only reason I know about Estelle or Joshua or Rin or any of those people, was just <laughs> through the collab. But yeah, Estelle Bright and Altina Orion are, are cute. And gave me a voice patch, and I kind of promised him. Okay. If I play AI the Porn Files, you have to play the five, any of the five games I've given you. Like, Sinron Kagura, Final Fantasy IX, Okami, like, Identical, uh, Dona Dona, any of those. Final Fantasy IX is, is an amazing game. I love Final Fantasy IX. It is super awesome. It's a... It's... It's a very, like, pure Final Fantasy. They, they, went, they went back to the roots for it. And it is... Oh, I, I'm not saying I gifted you Final Fantasy. I'm saying, you know, any game that I've told you, like, hey, this is a good game. You know, you should play it. Some of those games I have gifted you, some of them I haven't. But hey, I can... <laughs> I can get to it. Because <laughs> I I will never let a person not having a game stand in the way of me wanting them to play them, if it's a game that I love. Like, I'll straight up be like, here's the game, right here. I will give you this game if you will play it. Okay, Charmeleon. Oh, uh, okay. The <laughs> the actual title of Senron Kagura. Estival Versus is Senron Kagura Estival Versus Shoujo Tachi no Sentaku, which means the the girl's choice, and it's essentially referring to how the girls are going to choose the, to live their ninja lives. Senron Kagura 7 that we're essentially never going to get anymore because Kenichiro Takaki left and PlayStation 4, or just, you know, the PlayStation Store in general, now has mega censorship, was going to be called Shoujo Tachi no Kofoku, which is the girl's happiness. So it's a bummer, we were never able to get that game. It was even teased at the end of Peach Beach Splash because at that point, like 2017, 2018, development was still going strong. But then, you know, going into 2018 and beyond, the the mega censorship hit and Kenichiro T uh, Takaki, who was the producer of the Senron Kagura series, said, I can't go on with this. This restricts my creative vision. And so he left and he now works for Psy Games.
What uh, what are you playing now for your Switch uh, backlog? Also, did you ever take a look at Stellar Blade? I I saw the I saw the name and I saw a bit of the playthrough and I remember you liked Astral Chain and so I was like, you know, maybe maybe something he'd like. Oh, they had a sequel? Okay. The character even... The character reinforces his porn powers even more in this game? Surely that's how it works, right? Bro, imagine not being able to read Hiragana or Katakana and running into that. Uh-oh. But we came prepared. Past and present mechanic. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Darksiders 2 had a mechanic like that in one of its dungeons. You had a key item where you would, uh, like, warp into the past and then fix something in the past and then warp back into the present to go through where you were barred in the present after you fixed it in the past. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool when I've seen it. Oh, I probably should have given that to Charm- Oh, I have another one. It's fine. Question for the present, you have to play the pass through to get the answer. Okay. Does the game, like, so if you play the game a second time and you know all the answers, does the game accept that or does it say, hey, you have to uncover it in the game first? <laughs> because in Yakuza 0, there's a specific side quest where even if you played the game before and know the password, the game says, no, -uh -uh, that's not gonna work. You have to actually go through and unlock the password in the game. Okay, good. Also, Ivysaur got new art. Oh, Diglett. Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig. You're only... well, I can still do this and just do Slash. Yeah. Wah. <clears throat> Hoderer is coming in two weeks, Derail. Chapter 13 is on April 16th, and right now there is a reward event going on for the Victorian arc based on how much story you've completed, and it runs throughout the entire month. So there's there's incentive to get story done. <laughs> Look at this man, he's crying. Oh, that's funny. Oh, new card packs. Bro, look at this Meowth. This Meowth is on all the drugs. I wonder how many uh, new uh, card packs will be in this game. And it's all energy, awesome! Okay, that's... Okay, that's... That's enough of that. Yo, for real! <laughs> it was Japan only. But, it's there. Hey, we got Growlithe, do we have Arcanine? <laughs> so, yeah. So, this, this came out during the Pokemon explosion, and of course Japan has the wider audience for everything video game related, so a lot of things are 
Japan only, or the sequels are Japan only. It's only when, like, things get really big do they get Western releases. Fire Emblem wouldn't have ever had a Western release if Melee didn't come out and people were like, who are these two swordsmen? And so, the questioning from that, you know, prompted Nintendo to start making Fire Emblem from the West. And that's how that came to be. Well, I guess we're playing a fire deck now. Uh, okay. Cancel. Let's go! Woo! What's over here? What is this? No. Oh, so these are the deck machines from the first game. Okay. I got it. Maypuru, Chota Mate Kursai. Kyotskete. Team GR is strong. Bro, I played this game before, Dr. Mason. Come on. I played this game before, Dr. Mason. Yo, we have an airport? Holy crap. Air... Aeroporto. Let's see. Fire beats grass, so I'm gonna go to the grass club. Freaking neon. Burgled. In the rock club? I can't go there. Fire's weak to rock. Card pop? What? Nani? Oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> With all of your friends? Okay, derail, it's time to card pop. No! Oh! We got the Goofy Art Zapdos from the first game. Okay. A legendary Pokemon. I got a Zapdos from Neon. Of course Neon has all the strong cards. Freaking Neon. I wonder if Imakuni's almost uh, also in this game. Oh, dude, this thing is ginormous. Look at this giant computer derail. What? This is a TV. Are are all the are all the trainers from the first game? Yo! They are! I love it! Oh, new card packs! I love this! Lost Isle! Okay, so we got all the trainers from the first game. New card packs, new villains. I got it! Hey, Omastar! Oh, new look at tongue art! Check this out! I like that we have all the girls back from the first game. Let's go, Brittany. I have fire cards. Etc. Did you do the U official event, Derail? Did you practice becoming a VTuber streamer for one day? Oh, okay. 
I don't know if it's only if it was only for April Fools or if it's in the game now. But yeah, you can do the uh, April Fools 2024 event in Ark Nights if it's still there and get you official, the VTuber streamer operator. Yeah, the that's her. Oh, you did. Okay. How did you like being a VTuber streamer for a day? Uh... <laughs> oh, more new Bulbasaur art. Look at that. New art, yay! Because the first game had all the original art from like the, like the the OG cards, like the ba the base deck, and it had a jungle fossil and uh, I think one other, and that was all like OG stuff. Now we have now we have new art. Don't you like how Click was just the best senpai ever, though? She rescued you official from debt collectors when her super bad luck got her in debt, bought her all this stream gear, and then even brought her to Rhodes Island. On top of being an adorable mouse girl. Can you believe it? What? That was a normal attack. Since when was Scratch super effective against Bulbasaur? That's not how things work. <clears throat> Yo, Eureka and uh, Kirara are gonna get a uh, are gonna get along great. Oh my god! Come on, game! Don't do that. <laughs> Rhodes Island, the new VTubing platform. Yeah, what company do you work for? Oh, I work for Rhodes Island. The only company to have VTuber paramilitary operatives. <laughs> Bro, imagine Liz Karma as a VTuber. She would die. That's, that's totally something Franco would prank her into, though, and it would be the best. Let's see. If I do Ember, this should be 40, and this should kill it. So we should be good here. Bro, this card being a VTuber after giving Frank a prank would be top comedy. Oh my god. This game does not follow the rules, Derail. A grass Pokemon should be super effective against fire. Now I'm gonna freaking die. Freaking game. Why, Derail? Why does this game not follow the rules? Scratch, a normal type move, is super effective against grass. Ember, a fire type move, does not take su is not super effective against grass. What is happening to my Pokemon logic? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Bro, that's that's not even. This is Pokemon. Pokemon has rules. You can't just make up rules whenever the hell you want. their own damn rules. <laughs> oh, come on, man.
Okay, derail. When I was setting up the Iron Man, uh, the XCOM 2 Iron Man for tomorrow, <clears throat> I rolled Neon in my squad, my starting squad for like the first mission, and then a random soldier got the name Iris. So I am totally pairing them up. I'm going to make Iris's last name Fighting for. And, uh, ne Neon is currently a specialist, and I'm having him be, like, the kind of, uh, the hacker tree, so he can have, like, so it'll be, like, Zero Z-Buster. <clears throat> if, if he had gotten the Ranger class, it would have been, you know, like, actually Zero, because he'll, he would have had a sword, but since he rolled specialist, I'm having him just with the Z-Buster. What is Lewis doing? Why did he have to be busy now? He said he was gonna love this and watch this. Uh. Do I have another fire? Yes, I do. Sweet. He did. He did. I'll will send you a picture of uh, Lumine Lewis, or you can just you can just look on stream archive. But yeah. So yesterday. I started doing part six of the Iron Man, but ended up getting wiped by an unfortunate series of events. So, as, as, as we were retreating, the second alien ruler, the Berserker Queen, spotted one of my units and then ran over there where they were and did uh, did the stun ability and then that big old stun ability alerted the enemies around the area to deploy and one of them was a mech and so the mech came over and did his AoE rocket ability and the stun damage plus the AoE rocket damage took out like four of my units, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> We're done. So, yeah. Lo lost that one to an unfortunate series of events. But, yeah, uh, Cinder and the Canadian girl were at the base of that mission, so they were unharmed. But still, just, I, I lost like four of my units and I would only have like three left, so I was like, okay, this is effectively the end. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> oh, dude. I first tried XCOM Enemy Unknown in like 2013, and that game's even worse. And I was like, okay, we're not, this, this is not for me. So, I didn't play another strategy game until, until Awakening, almost like a year and a half later. Because I remember bar, I remember borrowing, like, I was at a friend's apartment. <clears throat> just hanging out with him, looking at his games. And th this was 2014, like, I was, I was just in my, like, second year of college. And so I was just looking at his games, and I was like, Oh, hey, this looks... This game has pretty cool box art. Do you mind if I borrow this? And he was like, yeah, sure. And so that's how I started playing uh, Fire Emblem and getting into strategy games at large. And so, you know... I played Awakening from September 2014. You know, fin kind of finishing up the year. And then... Took, an took another year, and then I was like, hey, I kind of like that game. Let me go research the others. So I started gathering all the Fire Emblem ROMs and translation patches, patches and uh, December 2015 going into January 2016, that's, that's where I started my Fire Emblem journey. 
And then, you know, I would just be going through the games, playing them casually, you know, along with my schoolwork, and... So, playing, playing all the Fire Emblem games except Thracia, and the remakes of the Akinia games. So, no Thracia, no Shadow Dragon, and no New Mystery of the Emblem. All the other games, though, that took me two and a half years. I went from January 2018 to uh, July 20... or January 2016 to July 2018. And that's when I finished Radiant Dawn. <laughs> and so I didn't... I hadn't... I was kind of playing the 3DS game, playing, you know, Fates and Shadows of Valentia as they came out. But like for the for like the the earlier games like mainline series going back and completing those the last one was Radiant Dawn and I finished that in July 2018 so it, it, it took me two and a half years to play like I don't know ten Fire Emblem games Shadows of Valentia is cool. I'm looking forward to you playing, like, like, a strategy game that isn't Fire Emblem, but is still a strategy game. Like, Brigandine or XCOM. If you ever end up playing any of those, that'll be super cool to watch. Alright, now what the hell was I doing? Okay. Oh no! They made that like a darker purple. Yeah. Do XCOM 2 because XCOM entered me unknown is just bad. If the design the design decisions for a lot of parts of it are just clunky as all hell. It's not something that you want to mess with. Oh, big damage. I have inflicted 100 damage on this tiny Weedle derail. What is that art? Yo! Oh, Bulbasaur got a freaking buff. Jeez. Oh, dear me. Well. I don't think Bulbasaur had Razor Leaf in the first game. Oh, this adorable furry Growlithe, oh my gosh. Are you gonna play Vanilla or War of the Chosen, Derail? Because I did both. Okay. And then, here we go again. I want- I really wonder if it's just taking the type of the Pokemon instead of ty the type of the attack. Because it's- it said there that Charge was a normal type attack. That's what I did too. I did- I did Vanilla to learn the mechanics, and then I went War of the Chosen. We have the Goofy Venonat art. Oh, what?! Did you see that? This girl's pissed. Yo, this girl's gonna freaking cry, and oh my god. I, 
I don't think Disable was ever in the first game. Yo, that's sad as hell. Bro, Brittany's depressed. Oh my gosh. We've crushed Brittany's dreams. Oh, cute Meowth art, look at that. Okay, we made Brittany cry. Now she's gonna go tell everyone how much of a meanie we are. Just like Whitney and Johto. So it looks like we have all new packs in this game. Doug Trio, full heal. I love the Kingler art. Pokédex. Oh, this is like Big Eye from Yu-Gi-Oh. Since we have a fire deck, we should probably put these two in. Oh, Charizard, let's go. Energy burn. Oh, that's kind of crazy. If you just have a whole bunch of junk on Charizard, you can just go, bam, it's all fire now. Wow. That's pretty whack. <clears throat> Ishihara. So, uh, I found, I found out the secret purpose of this game. It's to go and make anime girls cry. What, what sadistic madman would design such a game? Anime girls only deserve happiness. Alright, let's, let's, let's put in these fire types. Brittany was the first. Blah. Oh, 60. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Always making anime. What? The freaking heart is in the way. Let me see what this says. Always making anime. So, derail. Always making anime girls and always making anime girls cry are two different things. But I'm sure one could potentially lead to the other. Uh, what do we got in here? We don't need freaking three machokes. Come on. Let's go two and two. The sentence would make sense. We don't need four Charmanders. Freaking hell. Magneton got new art. Look at that. Oh! Derail, look at this. Microwave. What? Oh, so th this is almost like Sonic Boom. Just flat 20. Okay. Th this is like Sonic Boom Plus. You do 20 plus discard energy. 
derail. They stop TV sets from the staying, displaying properly. Listen to the Pokemon lore derail. Oh, new Parasect art. <laughs> the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Get fucked. Butterfree. Oh my god, what is this Squirtle art? What the hell? So it seems like Pokemon that had their OG art now have alternate art as well. That was the case in the first game, but it seems like they've expanded on it here. Prodding fingers will bounce off of it. Who in the hell is fingering a Squirtle? Yep. <clears throat> Brittany already had her unfortunate fate. Such a mean designer making anime girls cry. I can name a few people who would be. Who would be what? Uh, nope. So that's what that is. No. I wonder if they still have the email mechanic, like in the first game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're going to Ishihara's. Nikki from the first game, we beat you. Arigato gozaimasu. GR number two defeat deck. It's an oddish. What is this? Oh, customizable coins? That's cool. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna go, let's see. Let me, what do we got in here? It's all grass? Okay. Whoops. So is he using like a water deck then? What's going on? The woman who sold the world, what's going on? <clears throat> so, this game is the J uh, Japanese only sequel to the Pokemon trading card game, Game, that was released in the US on the Game Boy Color. This is the sequel to that. I was able to find a, ja uh, a fully translated English patch, and so I patched it and now I'm playing it. Because I want to see what it's about. And I played the original game that the U.S. got on my channel as well, and now I'm just going through this here. Also, six viewers? Holy crap, I've never done that before. Alright, what do I want to do here? We got our fire deck going. What, what else can we put in so we're not just super one note with fire? Let me, let me see if I can edit here. We 
definitely don't need Rattata. I think that should be good. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Evolutions do we have, if any? Oh, we have Golden Seeking. We can do that. And we don't have Seeking. Ah, okay. Oh, we have Bell Sprout and Weepin' Bell. I can work that. Yeah, there's the OG Weepin' Bell art. Okay, there's that. And then do we have the Grass Energy? We do not. Let's go like that. Okay. So now we have that set. Alright, let's go fight this Super Sentai guy. Hey, look at that. They put a waterfall in here. Don't ever say Team Rocket never did anything good for anyone. They renovated this whole place. And he's not there. I guess I have to go somewhere else. Well, okay. Where are we going next, then? Science Club is like poison and stuff. Uh, let's see. I I put I put thing. I put two water. Uh, no. I put I put uh bell sprout and weeping bell. So that's grass. So in the first game, you would go to rock first. Uh, let's just go to lightning. And we're gonna see all the people from the first game. Oh, is that Imakuni? Uh, Imakuni up there? Oh shit! The Isaac flipped. Isaac fell for the girl. He is now under the anime girl spell and working for her. He was converted, derail. I think Jennifer was the Genki girl from the first game. Tall kid. I don't have four level ten Voltor Voltors. Uh Okay, so it looks like that's not it. Oh, look what we have here. I should probably go back and explore, but you know, there's actually someone here now. <laughs> okay, so Nicholas and Isaac from the first game are here. to go and get more cards. Oh, they redid the... They added, like, an actual textured surface here. That's cool. <laughs> the entire place is just gravel. Wow. 
It's cool that they gave this place a texture, though. Oh, so I, I guess Imakumi still, uh, Imakuni still is, is in this game. That's cool. That's cool. He, uh, Imakuni's back. Yeah. Nope, I don't. Oh no! Cat kid. Oh, wow. So they really went and gave each uh, dojo or each club a customized interior. That's pretty awesome. Because uh, in the first game, it was just, you know, like the standard green floor. Okay, let's go. Did he say Mew? What are you doing with Mew cards, my dude? What do we got? We got a bell sprout and a meow. Not particularly a good start for fighting. <laughs> Call for family. I don't even have any grass energy. Well, crap. That is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're both hard up. Didn't I switch it to the Oddish coin, though? Huh. Bro, stop giving me fighting energy. Arr. Here's the OG Pikachu, the 1998 Pikachu. Oh, grass, I can finally, uh, put on Bellsprout. Good. So, Thunder Jolt does 30, but does 10 damage to himself, so if Pikachu uses that, he'll kill himself. Which will be good for me. Oh, okay. He decided to not do that. Hey, Charmeleon. <clears throat> Fury swipes. Thanks, game. Let's go. That'll help out. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 
nothing but joke. More fire energy. Amazing. Conversion 2. Change Porygon's resistance. Okay. So he's doing the anti Bellsprout tech. I see. And so, let's see. If I hit all the heads here, I win. But I'd rather take the confirmed damage. That'll knock that out, and then I can just have the Eevee. So let's do it. Yeah, that'll be next turn. Huh. Reactive uh, sprites like that are a cool addition that wasn't in the first game. Charmeleon, and let's go Fire Energy. So, now 
I can do this, take you out. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh. Did you see how fast that dude's emotions flipped? He went from dead inside to happy. Oh, he's dead inside again. Oh, man. One of the best additions of the game so far. Let's see, what would I even need for Macho? A bunch of stuff. So, let's see. I have two fighting and one two fire. So I could do karate chop. Okay, 50 minus 30 is 20, so that'll still work. I'll still be able to KO here. So let's do it. Resistance takes any damage you would take, it reduces it by 30. And of course, weakness doubles it. got a wrestling ring in here. Look at that. made cards so they printing them hey this guy's giving me a Mewtwo look at that they completely redid this place Gave him a whole bunch of workout equipment. What else we got? We went to lightning, we went to rock. Let's see. Let's go to science. Yep. That poison badge is still there. We got the weeping bell. Okay. Thank goodness we have energy retrieval because we have a whole bunch of fighting energy and no fighting Pokemon. So that'll help us out. Let's see. Although Ponyta just needs uh, two of whatever, so it's not as bad as it could have been.
Oh, great. I could be insta-dead. <laughs> so it goes. At least I'm not insta-dead anymore. Oh, it's from the discard pile? Okay. Well, now we know. Also, why does Nidoran have freaking 60 HP? Bro. Yes, don't attack me. Good. Hey, we got the Machop. Oh my god. They actually freaking mocapped someone's foot for that. What was that? Lewis is gonna love that animation. <laughs> Just a giant foot. <clears throat> Lewis's favorite animation from the first game was the one where the giant, like, just blob comes on the screen and just smacks you, and then falls off. You'd see it on Licky Tongue's attacks and some of the grass Pokemon's attacks. That, that was his favorite animation. Wow, two Charmeleons. person doing? They're just getting all the Nidorians. Okay, Machoke. Let's see. Okay, so I do have a Machop. So, there's that. So I can KO the Nidoran next turn. Potion, that'll be useful. Oh, but if he horn hazard if he horn hazards me, I die. Yo Silv, what's up? You were you're just in time to see the feet. Uh, don't kill me. Oh, thank goodness. What are you doing, Sylvia? Congratulations on your cat girl transformation from earlier, where you had a giant mega text stroke out. I'm glad the operation went well. do this so I don't get horn hazard killed. Came back from fishing and strawberry picking? Did you get anything good? Did you catch a big fish? <clears throat> oh, Nidorino. <clears throat> I know I know Derail had a picture somewhere where he was on a boat and he had caught a huge fish. Oh, 
Also, what's Panda doing? Okay, good. We're getting good rolls. <clears throat> oh, here's the here's the Lickitung with the new art. The the goofy art. Catfish and a few shell crackers? What is a shell cracker? That sounds like a weapon. Or like a firework. Could it be like a crab? You're going on a big fishing trip this weekend? Nice. I hope you pull something that's so ginormous it capsizes your boat and you have to swim to shore. I want you to pull that big of a fish. Peck and wing attack, and then lick. Okay. I'll, I'll put this on... lick a tongue. Do you guys have, like, a big fishing boat that looks nice and everything, or... How do, you, how do you do that? Do you just like go somewhere and just, just like chill? Do you have like all the gear or is it more about the bonding? Okay. The fish with 20 different names, I got it. Oh! <laughs> Look at Galbat! Damn! This is the walliest, freaking stalliest Nidoran I've ever seen.
Oh man, a stream classic. Parents calling me while I'm streaming. How about that? That used to happen a lot when I was streaming Okami. Like, every time I would stream Okami, my parents would call me. And I'd just be like, well, okay. Let's see what they want. <clears throat> so if catfishing season is for you in April, that's coming up then. Are you are you gonna are you gonna catch some some bolt catfish from X3 Forest Derail and then and then show me? damage. Two hundred and fifty arm two hundred and fifty dollars on the under armor. How about that? <laughs> so low kick has its same animation from the first game, but just kick got a brand new animation and oh my gosh, gall that. Oh man. If he uses wing attack, I'm dead. Oh, what is this? Damn, I'm dead. Oh my gosh. They freaking made... They just took Moltres' attack from the first game and gave it to Golbat. Come on. Because Moltres in the first game had Dive Bomb, where it took 4 fire energy, and I think it was 80 damage. And then it was the same deal. Flip a coin, it tails, you damage yourself. But oh my goodness gracious, what are we going to do now? Spiro, Growlithe, freaking hell. Okay, you're talking about fishing stuff, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, if he does it again, he might kill himself, because he takes 40 damage. Yeah. Freaking hell. Come on, game. <clears throat> well, I'm kind of dead. But there's only one prize left, so yeah, we're just dead anyway. Ugh. Ugh, 
hard. Oh well. That's what happens when you only get stage one evolution cards. This happened in the first game as well. I would only get energy cards. Okay, David, let's go again. Yeah, the Galbat is just a mouse. <clears throat> but they gave it that silly Moltres move. We got the Charizard. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, it's beat time again. Wait, not that requires two, and I only have one. Damn game. Since you like cat girls, like Derail and I do, have you ever heard of a game called Ark Knights? It has a lot of girls that are also cats that I think you might be interested in. Yeah, but I'm appealing to Sylve's tastes. You have to bring them in before they realize just how many animal girls Arknights has. They have freaking everything. <laughs> oh, he does? So, how much does he know about Arknights then, if he, if he already knows who Siege is? Oh! Yeah. Oh, you're you're talking about the chat, dude. The <laughs> Siege is my wife. I love Siege. She's amazing. She's strong and has a confident air about her. And strong and confidence are the two things I like in my anime women. Should do 20 damage for super effective. Nope. Uh, I, I guess flying doesn't exist in this game, so it's it's a normal type. Okay. Yeah. Disable was a move added in this game. So, you should give it a try, Syl. There's a big, there's a big story chapter coming in two weeks. If you were to download it now, or you know the the next few days, you could you could kind of get a handle on things and check things out. One of those things where, since you are a kimono mimi enjoyer like us, I figured it'd be worth a try for you. And it has a lot of cat girls. Alright, what do we got? Fire and fighting? Let's go on the ground list. Yeah, new players get a lot of new player reward stuff. The game is very accessible for free to play, and you know it's it's really fun. The art's great, the music's great, you know, 
and it has the kind of characters that we all like. So, why not, really? Oh, disable. Can I get through? Oh, okay, so it's only for status effects, okay. Well then, we'll just hit done. <laughs> yeah, the, the story is super in-depth. Like, there's, there's lore out that, there's lore out the ass. All this Venonat's gonna not be happy. Cause I'm gonna put on an energy next turn and wing attack the hell out of it. <laughs> A Spongebob browser game, wow. The first tower defense experience I had, I believe was, well, it, it might have been earlier. Oh yeah, it was earlier. <laughs> the first tower defense experience I had was like browser games, like uh, Flash era browser games in like the early mid 2000s. But like, the first like, super like, you know, tower defense on your phone like we know it. Like that kind of stuff, mobile tower defense. Uh, experience I had was uh, Field Runners, like 2010, 2011. That game was fun. Alright, gonna obliterate this bit of net. <coughs> I'll send you art of Siege, Sonya. She is great. Bye, Internet. I wonder if the GR bosses have their own themes or if it's like the Clubmaster theme. Because the Clubmaster theme was amazing. I think he likes one more than the other. <laughs> he likes a panther and he likes an orca. And yes, Arknights has a lot of fish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know who you like more. That's why I said both. <laughs> Typhon is very meaty. favorite kind of cat sale, and I'll see if Arknights has one to further sell you. Hey, no damage. Let's go. Uh, energy. Okay, let's put it on the Diglett. Okay, yeah, really. That's all we can ask. <clears throat> And I only brought it up in the first place is because you're a Kimono Mimi enjoyer. And what you'll find is that it has great art, great music, and it's very accessible to free-to-play players. You can clear just about all the content with the lower rarity units. And hey, if you do end up liking it, you know, you can talk to us about it. They are! I'm glad you understand. <clears throat> a 
especially with the way Siege carries herself, it's it's just fantastic. Also, my deck is entirely energy. This is bad. I don't know how much you follow VTuber still, but there was a there was a joke a while back that a certain VTuber was the daughter of two of uh, two of the Ark Knights characters. One uh, one was a lion, the other was a snow leopard. Okay, we have Charmeleon and Charizard, now we just need Charmander. I, I, I got a Dugtrio, but I don't think he's in the deck. Aww. Spiro's gonna hit her Sugar Rush and carry the game with all that energy? Oh, you're talking about the one that just went out? Em Ember, see you later. Look how adorable this Growlithe is, Sil. This is super adorable. This is new art. The, the Growlithe in the first game had the OG art, but man, this is new art. You are Dunzo. <clears throat> oh, yeah, <laughs> little pup. Are they counting Zubat as poison? Come on. You're dead anyway. <coughs> uh, the OG uh, Growlithe had a move called Flare. I think it was two fire, and you did 20 damage. <laughs> yeah, Zubat descending into hell. But yeah, this is Zubat's OG art. Okay, we got it. Oh, dude, David's gonna go shoot someone. Look at this. Scoop up, hold your machoke. Onyx, what can I do with you? Oh, you can just freaking stall with Onyx, okay. Hey. Yo, we got the snow relax. Let's go. Okay, we got Krabby. Now we can work Kingler. Yeah, that's, yeah. Snorlax with that art had the kind of holographic sparkly uh, background. Hey, we got torches. Let's go. Oh, Imakuni's here. Hey, he's back. That's cool. We'll fight him after configuring de configuring deck some more. Let me get rid of all these damn energy cards. Jeez. Uh, 
Okay, Snorlax. But first, let me work on some stuff here. Oh, really? <laughs> you were just around and the janitor said, hey, I found this. You can have it. Okay, now we got Vulpix and Ninetales. Do I have any water energy at all? Nope. Let's see. We got Dugtrio in now. Alrighty. What is Magneton? Uh, Thunder. I don't think I have Thunder energy. Oh, I actually have three. Oh, I don't have a Magnemite to use it with, though. Spark. I might throw that in. Oh, but I need two. So, what can I take out of here? you in. <clears throat> now we're gonna fight Imakuni. <clears throat> oh, is that right? That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, just people who grew up with, like, the Pokemon explosion in the late 90s, like, they'd bring their binders to school. They'd have, you know, big binders, big everything. And yeah, you'd, they, you'd, you'd just be trading cards at lunch. And then you play the games when you get home, like, on your Game Boy. It was a great time to grow up. Okay. Imakuni! Oh, does he not let you battle him? You could battle him in the first game. <coughs> oh, do you just get his card? Ah, uh, okay. The Tata. -ta. Kuni is... Let's see... I remembered this at one point, but it was... Yeah, it was it was essentially... The, let me look it up real quick. <clears throat> okay. So... It was a comedian called Tomoaki Imakuni who did promotional art and marketing for the Pokemon games. Like red, blue, yellow, and then the trading card series. And so they kind of had a collaboration with him where in the first game you could fight him and then he would give you his own custom card. He had his own theme and everything. It seems like here, you know, you just card pop and you get the card, so you don't get to fight him this time. Do we have any fights here? Oh, look, it's me again. I don't have a Flareon. Oh no! Brawler. Alright, let's see if we can go. 
beat one of the... Who are these people? <laughs> yeah. He, he really tried to... He really tried to get you. Really tried to pull one over on you. Jail? Oh my goodness. That's funny. They straight up put these guys in prison. Okay. Lightning Club. And start doing this. Let's go! A Diglett is all we got, and we didn't even get fighting energy. Thanks, game. Well, we'll be restarting this then. Freaking game. Oh, there's, uh, there's the original Spiro art. I'm dead. Hey, OG Doduo. What is that? That's new. That was a new card. Electric energy to Farfetch D? What? Omega dead. Stop the jokes. Okay, good. I think this happened in the first game as well. I got only Diglett and no fighting energy. So it was just like, well, game over. Oh my god. Something I can use. Finally. Unbelievable. That the game would actually give me something usable.
Hey, there's the Charmander. <clears throat> now we're cooking. Magneton, oh boy. Can't wait for that. And that's the OG Magneton. <clears throat> Alright, what do we what do we got? Voltex, Vol Voltex, Diglett, and Charmander. Fighting is strong against Electric in this game, despite that not being how it is at all in the games. Uh, so, the original, this is the sequel of that game. Th we never got this game, this was Japan only. The one that we got was added to Switch Online, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, no Magneton for you. <laughs> Damage yourself, idiot. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And then I'll get- Oh! Why did- Why did it take 20? Oh, is, is that what the confusion damage counter is? Okay. Hey, Farfetch'd. Hello! Okay, what are we looking at? Let's power up the Charmander some more. Ah, uh, oh well. So far, this is the same music from the first game. Also, that's new Magnemite art. Leak Slap. What? Ah. Uh, oh well. But hey, he can't use that move again. <laughs> what a weird move. You can only use it once, and that's even if it hits. Hey, we got Sparrow. original game, but this is the sequel of, was the second game I ever played when I was like five. <clears throat> the first game I ever played was some licensed uh, Looney Tunes game. If you, if you look up Sunsoft to Looney Tunes, that's the first game I ever played when I was like four. And it was the Game Boy Color port of it. The original game was on the, like the standard Game Boy, like the big brick. That's my bad, not paying attention. Oh well. I could have just used Scratch, but hey, that works as well. There's the Magneton. Sonic Boom. Hey, Charmeleon, right on time. <laughs> mm. 
Nico Per- Oh my god. There is no way in hell someone actually put that as, like... <laughs> There's no way that's actual legitimate card art. Bro... That- that has to be an inside joke or something. Like, someone's four-year-old child drew this, and they were like, we're putting this in as a promotional card. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's Microsoft Paint Voltorb. This- this has to be a joke. in this game, I shouldn't be getting hit by super effective. So that's good. I love the reactive expressions in this game. They are hilarious. Orb. Hi, Faust. How are you? What are you up to? You just missed an epic meme from card art here. There was a Microsoft Paint Voltorb. please. <clears throat> the, the reactive emotions in this game, whenever you see them, the characters are just devastated. Their whole world has been destroyed, and they are lost. Like earlier in the stream, we had to break an anime girl's heart. It was the saddest thing you'll ever see. be super effective damage. Hey, we got the Growler. But, you know, I don't even have to test that because we can do Mud Slap for 30 and kill it. Yep, it was super effective anyway. Okay. Let's go. We are the Dream Shatterer. Oh, do we not get any cards? Okay. Well... Oh, double colorless. I should put that in here. Yeah. Let's go. This guy got converted by an anime girl. I wonder if we'll still get the Club Master theme here. I think it is. Oh, yes. We still get the Club Master theme. I love this.
Charmanders. Wiggle. Yeah, he did. I put it in the Discord when it came out. did 10 damage and had paralysis chance so it seems it was slightly nerfed which is a problem <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy Start getting some damage out now. Let's go, we got the kill. Bell sprout. More mental damage still. Oh boy. 
Whoa, what a dark Raichu? What is this? Oh boy. Well, we're having fun now. <laughs> oh man. Yo, for real, I'm gonna have to look up this later because I don't know what Dark Raichu is. Do you see him give that smug grin there and the lightning come down? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, this guy. Oh my goodness. There's the old Pikachu get, uh, coin from the first game, except it's now yellow instead of, like, whitish. Freaking hell. What am I gonna do? Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in my Japanese only game. Oh, uh, well, freaking hell. I don't think that's OG art, because the OG art is like Pharaoh just like flying through the air like Arapex. Can I do anything? Okay, we got fire energy. Jeez, thank goodness. And what do, what do we got here? Oh, I have to have three? Okay, so it'll be that, the lightning one, and then one other. Oh boy. Next year, t next you're gonna tell me I'll be seeing Mirror B. back of the deck, because I'm not getting it here. Ha! Out with you. Grass energy, awesome. Although I think it'll be too late because Weeping Bell's kinda dead. Just kidding, it's my turn. Uh. 
Okay, we can evolve to Charmeleon next turn. anything. Let's see. What I'm gonna do is flamethrower for the one hit kill. Gust of wind, baby, and bring that Pikachu back out. Or not. We can just go for the wind right here. That works. Oh, he's angry. Look at that. <clears throat> the OG PG art is Pidgey looking up at the night sky. In the Psychic Club. Whatever. Loves this song. Eight. It's the coin from the first game. Yeah, for real. Like, if you get a Diglett and no energy like I did, you're essentially screwed. I 
talk to everyone here. Got an aquarium. Look at that. So this is the grass deck right here. Okay. I see. I might be using this then. Try this deck out for the water club. They still don't know how to spell dueling. Grass isn't super effective against water in this game? Why not? Huh. 
<laughs> Juicing up the fish. <clears throat> In my playthrough of the original game, I would do that too. I would wait until I would have a bunch of water energies and then have a magic card on, on the bench and then when I had it to three or four water energies, I would evolve it to Gyarados. member has their own special theme like the club masters have. That'd be cool. <laughs> this guy's just killing himself off magic arts. A really good card I had in the original game was Dugong. Dugong could bust out some great moves. Tell me more about this Slowbro Exodia, Sylvnia. I'm unaware. Oh, dude's pissed. Slap got a new animation, that's cool. Is that an actual card? Also another baseball reference one. You can win the game if you draw it and activate it. Okay. Yeah. Baseball is pretty big in Japan. You'll either find the news, cooking shows, or baseball on Japanese television. That's pretty much it. drill. Starmie, I had some good work with Starmie in the original. Oh, <laughs> more MS Paint art. I like the buzz.
All the anime girls have been captured. my deck real quick. See if they have a special beam. Very mysterious sounding thing. edgy Pokemon. Okay, so it's how you get dark versions. Oh, new chart, new Charmander art.
fire. Hooked. Confuse yourself. Hey, Fever. No trainer cards. Okay. <laughs> Your dark powers are hurting yourself. Contaminating your very being. <clears throat> this is the price you pay for such dark power. Ponyton waiting. <clears throat> yeah, so this should be able to one hit kill the Vile Plume. Oh, no, right. Well, okay. He said he's going to watch the archive, so we'll have to see.
Oh, is he here? He said he was unavailable. <clears throat> oh, you're just talking for when he watches the archive. Yeah, okay. Kind of funny what happened to Derail. Lewis and Derail were in my XCOM stream, and then I I made I made a joke about how XCOM, like I was designing Lewis's character, and I was like, "Hey, the nation for Chile isn't here. What do you want to be?" And I was like. Well, it seems like XCOM doesn't recognize Chile as a country. And then, after, De after Derail said the same thing, Lewis was like, you're a cuck. And then he banned him from the server. has it as well? Look at that. Okay. Well, well, well. Too bad I'll be taking him out first. Fine, we have a growl that can back up. GR number three defeated. Ooh, rocket booster. So it seems like this game has entirely new booster packs from the first game. Hey, Mewtwo, look at that. <coughs> and here's where we get all the dark cards. This should be interesting to see. Dark Electrode. Yeah, what do we got here? I'm interested to see what these dark versions will be like. Okay, so this is like an energy transferal. Everything goes off Electrode and goes on to your bench Pokemon. Dark Muck. Sludge Punch. Okay, so the power is it increases their opponent's retreat cost. Oh. So, uh, this move's pretty good. Relatively low energy cost. 20 damage and just instant poison. That's pretty good. Dark Vaporeon. Not a Pokemon I would imagine that would lend itself to a dark nature. I like I like the art here. It's Vaporeon swimming gracefully underwater. 
<laughs> oh, you do? Okay. Whirlpool. Get to discard the opponent's energy. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you miss paint everywhere. Microsoft Paint Pokemon cards everywhere. There is a Shadow Jolteon, or a Dark Jolteon, whatever it's called. That sounds like it could be cool. <clears throat> okay, so this is just Rage. Oh, wow, look at that. You get additional damage and the opponent's paralyzed. That's crazy. Yo, Derail, did you... Did you see the Voltorb earlier? The earlier? That the uh, the the Voltorb earlier was <laughs> wacky. Oh, what is this for Tata? The yeah the the Microsoft Paint Voltorb. Well, okay, so now we have three Charmanders. <laughs> yeah, what? What's going on here, Derail? Lost Style. Computer Search, that's back. Primate's back. These two are... Uh, <laughs> these all are OGR that were in the first game. Okay, so yeah, this is all OG stuff that was in the first game. Punish deck. Hey, Stormy Coin. Oh, hey, more, more Mewtwo. Side Crash and Super Side. Big explosion. <laughs> Executor just chilling. Whoa. More Microsoft Paint! I won, you idiot. It's 
go to the fire club. What's in here? water energy. Where did Dark Mutt go? Okay, here we go. Ooh, this one has Arcanine. Let's go. I love that. Okay, how many grass energy do we have? Oh, that's not good. energy? Can't do anything with that. Come on, man. A lot of water energy, we do. Good. Almost too much, it would seem. Oh. This isn't a 60 card deck. Okay, let's fix it.
Did I select that deck? Hopefully. Oh, you again. Oh man, what raptor is this? Dark Charmeleon. He has Moltres. Great. <laughs> Just giant tail. <laughs> a dark Charizard.
Thunder. Do I still have that Pikachu? I do. I remember that vaguely, but I can't say from where. Hi, Pincer. That is a super cool description, and it sounds something exactly like something Crystal would do. Because Crystal is just amazing. My favorite Pokemon game. <clears throat> okay, now we can one-hit kill the Pincer because we have Ember. I'll do that just so I can have wing attack ready. Yeah, what's he doing with that? He's not even one of the Elite Four. Also, imagine putting grass on your Firebird. Charmeleon. With no... Well, actually, I only need three, so I could just do fighting, 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 and then use Charmeleon Slash. Yay! Anything. And do 
I already have one? No, it's fighting only. Okay, so... I'd still have to pull a... Well... Might as well. Okay, so I can use Ember next turn. Charizard. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like the other Moltreses. Where it's the four fire energy and then you get dive bomb. Where you either do 80 damage or zero damage. <laughs> okay, now Charmeleon's ready. Uh, <clears throat> I might just retreat Growlithe so I can do the slash and get the kill here. so this doesn't matter. Hey, it didn't work anyway. super effective. I guess another instance of taking the type as the po the type of the Pokemon instead of the type of the move. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a what a wasteful ploy. Bro, this this dude really just gave up. He said, I'm done. <clears throat> yeah, this dude loves his oddishes. Well, see you later. Toys. What is this? Also, is he surfing? Oh, buddy. <laughs> That's cool. Rocket Tackle. Max Revive. Wow. New stuff. 
<laughs> One basic Pokemon from your discard pile into your bench. So it's like getting stuff from your graveyard in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, look at this man. He angry. Got the snapback. <coughs> Potion energy, what is this? <coughs> Remove one damage counter. Okay, so it's a it's a 10 damage heal. MS Paint Diglet. Freaking flirtatious Rattata. Abra at the top of the building for some reason. And then the third Charmander. Flame Pillar. A <laughs> small Abra. Hey, Persian. Here we go, Phil. OG Persian. MS Paint coughing. Fragment of a coin. We are releasing the boys from prison! Oh, it's a Charmander coin. I like that they made additional coins for this game, that's cool. next time. Tomorrow I'll be doing my second run of my XCOM Iron Man, XCOM 2 Iron Man, after I got blasted. And so everyone will be back. Syl, Neon, Derail, Panda, everyone will be back. And the two VTuber girls I have as characters. So, yeah. Great, great game. I like that I like that they kept the stuff from the first game, and the reactive emo uh, emotions were great. Best edition so far. 